Welcome the Guy at the Movies. I am, of course, the Guy at the Movies, and today we are talking about a book, but it does relate to movies, and here it is. It is Disney War by James B. Stewart. This is a book that I have wanted to read for a long time because I am obsessed with Disney and the company, everything that it stands for, and do truly believe that it is one of the happiest places on Earth. So Disney War is n not really a happy read. Uh, it focuses a lot on Michael Eisner's reign from 1984 all the way through 2005. And the focus is really on the inner dealings within the company between the board, between the management, the cast members, a lot of shuffling when it came to who was in charge of what, a lot of trust, a lot of distrust, and a lot of politics that really influenced the direction that Disney has gone in the past, what, three decades at this point, three plus decades. Um, what we are looking at now, currently, uh, with the state of Disney, is that Bob Iger just stepped down. Bob Iger is the one that uh, came right after Michael Eisner. Uh, and there is still some question about what the future looks like now in a, po a post-COVID-19 world. Shall we ever be able to get to that point? Uh, but the book itself really does take you through the journey of a creative focus in the movie industry and the movie arms, uh, not only in you know Walt Disney live action, but looking at Touchstone, looking at Miramax, uh, and then also looking at Disney animation and really Disney animation faltering, um, uh, or I guess in the sense being in danger for years because there wasn't a belief that Disney animation was the future. But then of course we get the Renaissance period where you have hits like Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, uh, Aladdin and the Lion King that really uh, refocuses and renews the energy around animation. And we see that that continues today. I'll bet we are in a different world where Pixar is now part of Walt Disney, uh, the Walt Disney Company. And we, we see a lot of varied types of animation that come out of uh, that comes out of those two or those two parts of the org. Uh, but you know, you look at theme parks and you have Euro Disney and the challenges with Euro Disney right off the bat. It was losing money hand over fist for many, many years. It has been rebranded since to Disneyland Paris and is on better footing. Uh, but then within the company itself, what would the company look like moving forward? Did the company have to merge with another organization to stay, uh, to stay viable, to stay profitable? They went through the dot-com boom in the you know, late 90s, early 2000s. It seemed like everything was leaning towards uh, a gateway uh, type uh, presence online, whether that was AOL or Yahoo, whatever that would look like moving forward for Disney was certainly going to determine where their future was headed. Um, there's a lot of conversation about the ill-fated go.com branding in the past and trying to pull everything through there as a portal for users. Of course, we see today that that's not exactly what happened. Uh, but you also have a lot of conversations about what Walt Disney would have wanted with his nephew, Roy, Roy Disney, still being on the board at the time and really being the center figure of a lot of the, the things that happened in this book in terms of trying to get things back to normal or back to core values of the company when it was perceived by many that uh, Eisner had led things astray. So this definitely is a really fascinating read. It is one that I do not recommend you read before bed uh, because if you're tired, you're not gonna get through it. It has a lot of uh, business terms and uh, a lot of conversations about contracts and uh, different deals and different ways to work around board members. And uh, it, it is a great, great, great read in my opinion. James B. Stewart is kind of an icon to me when it comes to writing these types of books. Uh, he is the author of Den of Thieves as well. Uh, I highly recommend this book for those who want to learn more about what Disney looks like behind the scenes and some of the ways in which Disney goes through a process to make the decisions that it does. Uh, coming up, I will be reading Bob Iger's recent release, which came out earlier this year, which hopefully will kind of shed some light on what happened after Eisner left uh, with Iger taking over and moving things forward. We can all agree that Disney has been very successful uh, in the past couple of decades really I would say probably the past two decades for sure um, but it has had a another renaissance in the sense of bringing in uh, Pixar bringing in Star Wars bringing in Marvel so let's 
uh, let's see where things go, right? Um, I definitely would like to hear your comments if you are going to read this book, if you have read this book, if you love Disney, if you don't love Disney, please hit the comment section below. Please subscribe if you enjoy and follow Guy at the Movies on Instagram at Guy at the Movies, Twitter at Guy at the Movies 1, or at GuyAtTheMovies.com.